bipolar game reviews. A Ding Ding and DP Productions official game review. And hello viewers to the next episode of Bipolar Game Reviews and we're doing a new fan favorite uh No More Heroes and this is the PS3 enhanced version No More Heroes Heroes Paradise. Uh, yeah, No More Heroes. And uh other than a couple of new just kind of DLC and options and stuff, um it's basically the original Wii one just on the PS3 and um What the fuck? Did you just take a dump? Although this does have motion controls, um, unless you have a PlayStation Move, I guess you, I mean, that means nothing to you, and, um, the only reason I bring that up now is I think this would have been really fun on the Wii, I, I, I'll admit, um, I did not ever touch this game when the Wii was out, I mean, I mean, it's still out, and this game's, I guess, out too, but, um, you get what I'm saying, right, I don't have to explain this shit, anyways, um, I think it'll be more funner, if that's not even a word, uh, more fun on a Wii, and even with motion controls, I'm not sure how fun it would be, I guess it's the same kind of shit, but you get my point, anyways, basically, this game starts off with you, this Johnny Bravo looking guy named Travis Touchdown, the entire basis of this game is that you need money to put in this bank, put in shit in the bank, huh? Just fucking putting your money in the bank for no damn reason? Why? Because some blonde said she's gonna suck you off and let you do anything you want to her. If you get money and kill the top rank assassins and if, she, if you become number one then yeah you get to do lots of dirty dirty things to her. Yeah. Anyways if that wasn't dirty enough for you you have to make that money up somehow by doing odd jobs and Trouble. killing people and stuff but um throughout the game she references what you can do and um it's pretty interesting that they even mention this kind of shit but anyways it's funny it makes a great story but um like i said a lot of your time is actually used on getting money and doing missions like this this is an actual assassin mission where you have to assassinate and kill people which is yeah okay yeah anyways um which is basically the basis of the entire game is to get money to kill the next guy who's uh up but um there's different ways to get money and each one of them is fun in their own kind of way and um I'm gonna show off an assassin mission and just kind of oddball mission just so you get the feel of this game. The other thing is you drive this giant motorcycle thing and that, I don't know why they just they thought it would be cool or something. Um, oh yeah there's that shit. Anyways assassin mission you get a bean katana. It's like a katana but it's a bean nice. katana. Anyways you go and hack and slash these bastards to holy hell and then you just gut them like a fish. Oh, I also forgot to mention the enhanced version includes more blood and gore, so um you pop heads and blood and shit comes out. But um anyways, after you kill all the baddies you get rewarded for the mountain kills or whatever the fuck the job was. And uh you get money and with that cash you get one step closer to basically be able to put that shit in the bank and going to fight the next assassin. Why the hell do you need money to fight the next assassin? You just do and that's that's just yeah. Anyway this is the guy we have to talk to to fucking do the oddball missions and um you can do things like collect coconuts and anyways with his perfect driving skills you can maneuver all throughout this Grand Theft Auto looking city of the uh, Santa Destroya which is funny in its own right but anyways go ahead walk over here and um hello anyways um so like i said you fucking mow lawns and shit for money it's funny and humorous in its own way but after a while just collecting money in this game just seems really repetitive and boring and i wish it wasn't such a key factor in the actual game, but it kind of is, and you have to do it. So, um, yeah, after you get all your money, guess what? That's right, we need to put that shit in a bank, so let's go ahead and do that.
Now, after that shit's done, you go back to your hotel room because I guess you're just a deadbeat otaku and you don't own a fucking house or apartment or anything. Then you get a phone call, and this shit happens. What the hell's going on over there? Jeez, don't leave me hanging, honey. Anyway, that's the woman that says she's gonna let us do whatever we want to her if we become number one. And then we get a fucking letter basically telling us about the next psychopath we have to take out. And, um, that's just the basic premise of this game. The reward is her, and we just have to kill anyone who gets in our way. And that's literally it. But, um, that's snail mail, just in case you didn't know. Basically, they send a letter. Anyways, you go to the location of the guy, and then you press X to fight the guy. And on uh, number 7, Destroy Man, is the guy we're gonna try and take out. Anyways, we go through the fucking subway, and guess what? Yeah, some kind of weird just animation to go through that. I don't know why you can't just walk through, but... Yeah, I just, I don't have no idea. And, um, one of my issues with this game is the loading times and transitions. Even when you download this shit to your hard drive, it just, it's so much. And uh, I don't know if you haven't been able to tell yet, but, um, you're going to by the end of this video, just how much loading time there is. And, um, guess what? Yup, we have to load for the train to come in. And this is actually another loading screen after you go inside the train. So there's literally two loading screens, but I transitioned it so it looks better for you so it doesn't seem like a waste of your time. Anyways, we go through this train, basically get to get to our destination, which is fun. So, guess what, at the end it loads, really? then we load again to really? get out there, then we load again really? to go back up and get out. Now, those are three full on loading screens after this game was fucking installed to the hard drive and it still loads like a bitch. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks for me personally just loading time I like mo they just don't make sense to me pretty much I mean all these maps should be connected I don't know why they're broken apart like this but anyways go ahead and guess what we can finally fight things anyways so go ahead and just get pwned I guess uh, shit. oh shit okay here's the fun part when your shit runs out of energy, you have to charge it up. Just like your best friend downstairs. Yep. And, uh, more jerking. More jerking. <laughs> Guess what, more jerking? Yeah, jerking off. And after a while, it's not even funny or fun at all. Anyways, after this crazy bitch psychopath talks to us, we have to fight the next guy. Then with another loading screen, we meet him. Did this guy come from a DC comic? Anyways, with another loading screen, we actually get to fight him. Um, there is strategy and shit involved, but um, I'm just fucking around, so I am no way, shape, or form actually trying to win. Basically, for this boss, you wait for opening like that and you attack him. But I just, I don't give a shit because it's just like a random recording. But anyways, um, this guy is really weird, and he's probably the guy I hate the most out of all the assassins because he's like some superhero wannabe but um uh, yeah you get shocked and shit but this is basically the premise the entire reason this game happens is because you have to kill these psychopaths like him and um get that ass at the end of the game anyways when it gets critical he fucking spams out super attacks and it's really annoying because all the assassins do this but, um, if you're unfortunate enough not to block them, you're pretty much fucked, and... Yeah, like that. But, um... 
anyways, um, yeah, you should get this game or something. Mr. Din Din, thanks for the fucking review! Enable Din and DB Protection video!